So hi, this is Mrs. Slater, and we're going to talk about inequalities for word problems, so you can get rid of that title or part of it. Uh, we're going to use that inequality, and we're going to solve some problems, graph them, them on the number line for the finale. All right, so here we go. One roll of masking tape costs $1.15, and how many rolls can she buy at least, when you ever see that key word, that's going to be less than or equal to, and since we do not know how many rolls, that's going to be what our variable is going to represent, the rolls of masking tape. Okay, so let's read the sentence one more time. If a roll of masking tape costs 115 per roll, so that's going to be times x, and it has to be at least $5.75. So there's the inequality that I would like you to set up. And after you solve by dividing uh, both sides by 1.15, the answer will be x is less than or equal to 5. So that is how many rolls of masking tape you can get with a dollar fit by dollar fifteen. Now on the graph itself, we're going to fill in the, the 5 and the closed dot represents that it will be included, the 5 rolls, and anything less than that. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. And the next one, it's a little long, so let's break it, break it apart a little bit. It says that one band that you can get for $250 plus 50% of the sales. And it says that band number two, you can buy for a flat fee of $550. Oops. Okay, so in order to for the first band to produce more profit for the school than the other band, what is the highest price? So we're looking for a dollar amount that we can charge per ticket. Now, this number right here does not represent just the ticket price. This sales would be how many people attend, how many times the ticket cost. So you've got to keep that in mind when we're trying to solve this problem. Okay, so let's set up the inequality. 250 plus 0.5 of the sales. And I'm going to leave that in parentheses for just a minute. They want that to be more than uh, the other school, or the other band. So it would be greater than 550. Okay, so like I said, sales would be how many tickets, and they tell us at the end here that it's 300 times the amount, the ticket cost, which is what we have to find. So that's going to be our unknown, is our ticket cost. Okay, so let's do a little bit of distributed property, 250 plus, when you multiply that together, you'll get 150x, actually that is not distributed property, so let me get rid of that real quick. And um, it's just 0.5 times 300x. And um, we're going to set that equal to 550. And after bringing the 250 to the other side, you get 300. And then dividing by 150, we get $2. OK, so for the last part, we're just going to graph that. And $2 would be the price of the ticket or more to make a profit dollars and it also could be equal no but it cannot be equal to because two dollars will not give you a profit next one Gabby is a waitress at Hampton Hit Grill and uh, she earned at least seventy five dollars while working a six hour shift so again just paraphrasing what this is saying and she earned in tips she's got thirty one fifty Find all possibilities for amount that she earned in wages per hour, represent algebraically and graphically. Okay, so we need to talk about uh, the six hours. When you go to work, however many hours you work, you're going to have a certain wage, either $8 an hour, $5 an hour, $100 an hour, right? So there's $6 she's going to earn that wage, and that is our unknown, because we want to know how much she earned in wages. Okay, then um, when you are in a job that works on commission, you get tips. And so that would end up being your total wage. Okay, so this problem is saying that it is going to be 
uh, at least, so there's your less than or equal to 75. Okay, so let's figure out what this looks like. 6x plus 3150, less than or equal to 75. I want you to go ahead and push pause and solve. And hopefully you have 6x less than or equal to 43.5, and then um, x is less than or equal to $7.25. So in order for this person to have $75, it would be $7.25 here at the, um, on the graph, closed in and to the left. So she could earn uh, that wage in order to get less than seven or seventy-five dollars. Okay. Now on the next one, um, in advanced algebra, you will s receive six tests per semester. Now that is a true story for your class here at Lake Forest High School. Your first five test scores are ninety, eighty-six, and I'm going to change seventy-one to eighty-one, uh, ninety-one, just to make it make sense. Eighty-nine and ninety-three. You must earn a total of, and I also need to make that oh, make sense too, to get an A. Your score on the last test, or what score on the last test will give you an A. So the inequality is going to look something like this. You're going to set up all, or add up all of the scores together. 91 plus 89 plus 93. And then there's this unknown last sixth test that you do not know. But those points have to be greater than the total points they're going to give you an A. Because you can always go over the amount. And you could get up to that amount, 540 points, and you'd still be okay. So if you're going to solve for X, we want to add all these together to get 449 plus X greater than 540. And then when you subtract both sides, you end up with 90. So this person would have to get a 90 or greater in order to get an A for the class on the last test. And then finally, this one is um, more about average. So it's a very similar problem as number four. Uh, there are three tests per quarter. Now that is, again, a true story for this algebra class. Um, this person uh, must average an 80 for a B minus. Okay, the first two tests were 75. So it's a similar setup. And then the third test is the unknown, so we do not know what that is. Um, again, this side has to be greater than or equal to the 80. And since we're talking about average, one thing we have to do is divide by 3, because that would be the average of the three scores. Okay, so if we're going to solve for x, multiplying by 3 is your first step. Go ahead and push pause and solve. So hopefully after you multiply by 3, you have 240. And then after subtracting, it is showing that we need a, a value of 83 or more on the next quiz in order to maintain a B-. And that concludes the lesson for today.